Hi, everyone. Oh my gosh, Sherry. <laughs> I can't believe you're here at this time of night. Oh my gosh. It's too, it's too late for you. <laughs> it's actually 8.55 here, but for you, <laughs> it's later. But um, I came on just quickly to give Mother Mary's message because it's been a few days. It was actually the 7th of February, which I, I channeled her message. So uh, nice to have you here, Sherry. <laughs> I'll try and be brief. Um, but it's a beautiful message, um, powerful. And um, it really... Oh, Amanda. Hi. Hi, Amanda. I just am so surprised you guys are here at this time of night. Oh, my goodness. You're in Pacific time, Amanda. Me too. Same time. But Sherry, oh, my goodness. It's late there. Uh, so I won't hesitate, and I'll go forward with this. Um, so as Ascended Master... Mary's message is very timely. And I pulled the 10, well, I won't even tell you because it's so synchronistic. Why is the tarot so synchronistic with these messages? But um, the Holy Grail, this is the beginning of her transmission. Oh, hi, Paisley. <laughs> I can't believe you guys are here. The beginning of Mar Mother Mary's transmission is the Holy Grail is inside of you. It is, it, it is your heart. So the Holy Grail is inside of you. It is your heart. Filled with light, it is the Holy Grail of Divine Source, our Father. We, as his children, can only do our best to exemplify this love of a heart formed in the divine nectar of Source. A power lies in your hearts that seldom have you realized. The connection to joy and happiness resides in seeds of the cosmos buried as treasure within your very heart. It is up to you to unbury this treasure. For when you do, you will feel a joy so intense that there will be no going back to the old way of being. You will see colors brighter in your world. You will notice animals, creatures of nature that you will connect with from a place of pure joy. The heart communicates without words. You will feel what others cannot. You will love others when they cannot love themselves, for you are holding the space for them to eventually love themselves. Transmutation, transformation. This is the alchemy of the Holy Grail within your heart. Please treasure it and allow your heart to remain open to yourself and others as a divine sister of sister and brother of the Sisterhood of the Rose Cross. This is the organization that Mary Magdalene, now Lady Nada, began with me after we ascended. We have many beloved dear ones on earth at present. We have only to wait for you to fully awaken and receive your missions into your awareness. This was written in your divine blueprints before you came to earth. Let us not tarry, for now is the timing for divine awakening. The world needs you members of the Sisterhood of the Rose Cross. Our divine mission is to spread love through the open hearts and provide empathy, compassion, and a loving presence, and to embrace others as needed. This brings untold and unfathomable changes for the loving vibration coming from the awakened heart is such that others receive a healing in ways you may never know, as Jesus, now known as Sananda, mentioned in an earlier transmission. This is an important, a vitally important message for you. 
please hear the clarion call to our sisterhood of the Rose Cross and begin immediately. This message is timely. We wrap you in deepest love. We provide you with divine grace and protection as you are our dear, dear ones on earth. Blessed are the dear ones who carry the divine light, love out to the world while, a, while in a human body. This is a precious gift to the world that you embody and provide. My dear children, with a deep loving heart for all beings upon the earth, this is Ascended Master Mother Mary with a transmission for today. And I just went ahead later and I talked with Mother Mary about the Sisterhood of the Rose Cross. Because here I know a lot of people write things about the Sisterhood of the Rose, which even goes back as far as at, uh, Lemuria days. So uh, let me talk about that. Oh, hi, Tammy. Oh, Kelly. <laughs> Warrior girl. I had no idea you guys would show up. I'm just going to go finish up this by talking about the Sisterhood of the Rose Cross, which I've known about for many years because Mary is one of my guides, <laughs> as I'm sure she is a lot of you. Um, so the Sisterhood of the Rose Cross, it doesn't matter whether you chose to be male or female in this lifetime. All those who feel an affinity within their hearts to Mother Mary and Lady Nada are indeed working members of the Sisterhood of the Rose Cross. The reason why cross is in the name is because the vertical line in the cross represents the piercing of the veil with light and love and crossing that horizontal divide, which is only an illusion. She's channeling my beloveds. For you have the ability and connection as your birthright as a spark of divine source. And the horizontal line in the cross is the barrier or balance point. The barrier is an illusion. We must work with the concept since it is in mass consciousness at this time. That's what Mother Mary says. Now, I pulled the Ten of Cups of all cards that I could pull. She talks about the heart being the Holy Grail. And this Ten of Cups from the Star Tarot, their description is all about the Holy Grail. <laughs> it's a pretty succinct, I mean, synchronistic thing. Uh, pretty amazing. So the Ten of Cups is Pisces, super full moon, and the keywords are joy and happiness. So deep love and contentment radiating from within you out to the world. Your grail is flowing over with peace and love, wealth on all levels, material, emotional, spiritual, and intellectual has been achieved, but the inner wealth of deep spiritual understanding is what brings the most happiness. You are walking your dharma, your good works, and the joy that it brings to your heart is magical. So the key to the Ten of Cups is self-love, finding your inner grail of fulfillment. I get the chills. It's all about the grail. Uh, and so the key, again, I'll say this over, the key is self-love, just like Mother Mary said. It's self-love and finding your inner grail of fulfillment and great gratitude for all things in life. You feel as though you have returned to your true home. And finally, a little bit more. The gift is happiness and fulfillment. That's what the Ten of Cups brings. And you, it says you have found the grail in your heart. I mean, you can't make this up. <laughs> Living in balance with humanity, Mother Earth, like she mentioned nature, Mother Earth and spirit. It's like you've embraced the wisdom of your heart, acting from a holistic perspective, expanding your individual love and desires to a greater experience. You are channeling divine unconditional love to the physical world, just like Mother Mary talked about. You know that love is the glue that bridges life on earth to the heavens of the divine. 
You feel one with everything as your heart expands. The Ten of Cups symbolizes perfection and completion, bringing peace to your heart and living in harmony with your environment. It has brought you to a new threshold of spiritual evolution, a sacred portal of transformation. Holy cow. <laughs> My gosh. I mean, it's just amazing. It, that card that I pulled for that transmission was exact. <laughs> I, mean, I can't believe how many times I've talked about the heart and the Holy Grail. Uh, that was pretty amazing. Um, yeah, Amanda. Well, I'm Barry the treasure. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, hi, Lauren. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe all of you are up this late. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm just looking through the chat. Oh, gosh, you guys. <laughs> I guess Mother Mary uh, is a good one that calls everyone out. I don't know if any of you have heard about the Sisterhood of the Rose, but you can Google a lot of things about it. But I always got that it was Sisterhood of the Rose Cross for Mother Mary and that organization. And, um, you know, it makes sense for why they are signifying it as such. Oh, and the rose. I actually wrote down what the rose meant. I didn't get channeling on it, but the um, spiritual significance of the rose is, oh gosh, I don't know where I put it, but it's, I think it's about um, that. I, I like to think of it as your compassion and your, sa your sacred heart energies. That's kind of what I envision it to mean. So <laughs> I guess it can mean different things to different people. Um, <laughs> oh, thanks, warrior girl. <laughs> you made my day, you guys, for being here. Hi, Rose Blue. <laughs> God, you don't go to sleep until one or two. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, Samantha. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe you guys are here. <laughs> yes, Amanda Carroll, the Sisterhood of the Rose Cross isn't, doesn't, it's not just a divine feminine thing in, is in such that we all have masculine and feminine within us and we pick bodies, different lifetimes will come in as a female or come in as, as a male. It is about that calling in your heart, that sacred calling. But they do call it Sisterhood of the Rose Cross because it is the divine feminine. It truly is. So you can be a man and have that calling. So they don't, it's not, they don't segregate. I mean, men can come in and be, you know, have that heart and that calling. <laughs> but, oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, hi, Nancy. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I just can't believe you're up this late. So I I just wanted to say thank you all for showing up. You guys are amazing. I love you all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> but I'm just blown away by Mother Mary's message coinciding with that card that I, you know, I pulled. Ah, <laughs> oh, Sherry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, Tammy, love and peace to us all, please. <laughs> oh, Sheila. Oh my God, you're up. Oh my God, it's really late there. What are you doing up this late? <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys. Oh, my God. And tomorrow, you guys, tomorrow, I'm going to have Kelly, uh, the mystic next door. She's going to be on at 3 o'clock Pacific time. Be sure to tune in tomorrow, uh, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly's on my channel. Hopefully, I won't have any trouble. 
I think my husband fixed it because today I love Lisa and I had her on and it was glitching all over the place and I just have to have her back on anyway. But yeah, just so I can have a normal conversation. <laughs> anyway, oh my goodness, you guys. I'm going to have to say, oh, <laughs> I'm going to have to say good night because you guys, it's late. <laughs> It's past my bedtime. <laughs> I can't believe you guys are up. So tune in tomorrow to see Kelly and I, who's in the chat there. We're going to, you know, we'll do, we'll talk and maybe we'll, you know, answer questions in the chat and we'll, you know, we'll enjoy ourselves. That's for sure. <laughs> so tune in. Um, and thank you for joining me today for, or tonight rather, it's almost today because it's close to midnight or it probably is where you all are. <laughs> I'm feeling guilty. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Nancy. Yeah, it was a riot because it was mechanical glitches at the one side and down the other. And, you know, I have a new PC, a new laptop. And for some reason... My camera wouldn't work. I It was freezing up. And even when I got on my iPad, my iPad was freezing up and it never freezes up. But that was just way crazy. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much. I absolutely, oh, who else is here? Trish. Oh my God. You're even here from Australia. Oh my gosh. Oh, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you, you guys are amazing. Uh, I love you all, and thank you for coming. Um, mwah, big virtual hug to all of you. I adore you all, and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow, 3 o'clock uh, Pacific time. Mwah. Bye, guys. <laughs>